everybody and welcome back to anyone that's watching it live or on YouTube. Now, last time we left off, I was about to enter Hockey Manor, so hooray! Should be very little talking, thank goodness, and hopefully it should not take us an eternity to find one healer and two DPS. Yay! Teethies! Will they ever explain how she learned to summon these teeth thingies? Or does she breed them? Or did she import them? Because they probably exist somewhere else. I'm the person with the bonus, but I do remember where to go. Okay. That's all of them, I think. I hope my healer can keep up. They are on a Scholar, and because Scholar is a DPS healer class rather than just a healer healer class, it's actually quite difficult to do things on the Scholar. for tiny key yeah okay they picked it up good job we need those to get into rooms and shit okay if they somehow are not able to keep me alive it's not my issue it's theirs because this is a very very small group of people and unfortunately, with how I positioned the stream chat, I cannot click on enemies in the enemy list, which is really dumb. Uh... There, now I should be able to do so. For you guys, it should be covered by a nice big red square thing that protects other people's privacies. It's mostly doesn't done as a precaution because I don't think that any of you would like any of you three to four viewers and like twenty viewers on YouTube would go to bully people that you randomly see on a YouTube video. That would make absolutely no sense. Okay, why is my dealer not hearing me? There we go. Oh god, that samurai aggro, he's nearly taking aggro from me. And that's why we need the tiny key for... This is a bit more fun on hard mode, which is dungeons to unlock at level 50 because you can just like run through this very 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 fast. In general, high level dungeons are faster than low level dungeons because people will pull as much things as possible and most of them you'll get through in like 15 minutes. He's making cute noises. Baby. Who's here? He's a good kid. I need to continue pressing buttons. It's important. To be fair, very unfortunately for me, I spent a lot of... ouchie. 
Do not stand on my keyboard. They are sort of keeping themselves alive and... There we go. Nope, the healer died. But you ran into anyway like an idiot. I do not know why that person charged the enemy because... They have to be at least level 50 and own Stormblood to be on a samurai. That was their samurai. So they know they should know better than to going without a healer. Going without a healer is a dumb thing. For fuck's sake, do not go before the tank. That is also a very good suggestion. Especially in a traditional type MMO like this one. I play some non-traditional type MMOs or ones that are at least a little bit less traditional. Such as... For example, other Skulls Online, I've been in Guild Wars and Terra and the likes. Th this is closer to World of Warcraft. Okay. Uh, this healer is bitching at me because I'm moving forward, but the DPS go first. And now they're like, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, this tank that is trying to get DPS to stay alive. How dare they! But yeah, just like in World of Warcraft, tanks and healers mean a lot. D don't think that you are the tank. Except for this one very interesting case where we filmed a video where my friend tanked on a summoner. Okay, if he has a leaf on them, it's the it's our healer. Okay. And they're the ones that are complaining about me in the chat. Um, I have a leaf here. Let's let's pretend that I'm here. Let, let's pretend that I have not been doing these dungeons for two years straight. I'll likely come back to this game with the new raid season, which is like in probably a month and a half or so. So let's pretend that I'm not a veteran, but that I'm a leaf and that I don't know what I'm doing. In reality, do not be afraid of dungeons, even if people bitch at you. It really does not matter. You are the tank. Tanks are awesome. That is all you need to know. Okay, we should go up, I think. No, 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 no. That way. Apparently that way. Yep, and that's the door. <laughs> because they open the door, like, right in front of you, this always goes quite confusing. Oh, I can hear my cat again. Sounds cute. Fucking use the stairs properly. Like, all the people. Don't just go here and like drop down. That's not what we do. We use the stairs. For one thing, I need that XP. For another thing, I have a cat on the radiator that's complaining, and if I'm doing a lot of these things while that's asking for my attention. We'll probably have some trouble. The cat is off the radiator and on my knees now. Should prioritize the more dead monster because that's the monster that people are likely to be hitting. Go the other way next time so that you can skip the stair mobs. This is good for me. barely 
anything, better skip them. Prox 4.5k for all three of them, but let's just not argue. Let's not argue. But yeah, XP is good for you. Ads give you the most XP in pre-level 50 dungeons, practically. And level 60, I mean 50 to 60 dungeons and above, you often get the bulk of your XP just from the bosses. Let's not get petrified there, please. That would be a very bad idea. I think this way is the right way. Oh my god, my cat is licking my foot. It's really thick. And now he ran away. Poor baby wants to play. <laughs> He's pulling on my shirt. Okay, I'm gonna provoke you. Please do not go to other people. It's the samurai that's super bursting everything out of that one when the rest of my party is killing this mob. Ow. My toe. My poor precious toe is getting bitten by a tiny kitten. We currently still have five cats. By Wednesday, it's gonna be four. And we're keeping four. So it's not like this little kitten is having a lack of choice when it comes to play partners. It's just that he really seems to like biting my foot at the moment. Ha! <laughs> Ah, level up came just in time. You cannot pull less than four mobs, so if the healer doesn't keep up now, it's purely their fault, and not because I pulled too much. Because you can't pull one and four, but I pulled five, and they're struggling. They're very much struggling. We are now level 29, we really want to hit 30 today. I want to play a little bit after 30 as well, honestly, but 30 has some cool quests. Pull carefully! Okay, this is about where we ended. My cat has pressed the recording button and stopped the recording going and I did not notice for two hours, meaning I'm getting my footage back by piecing it together. So first of all, just picked up the yellow key. This is my main. She's level 70. We're just completely blitzing this dungeon for the sake of watching a cutscene for the most part. Okay. We're switching these settings off temporarily just to be able to see the dungeon cutscenes and then I'll have some of what you missed inside my quest journal. Yeah, I'll be able to just redo. I'd rather just show you Okay, you get treasure from here, I got a piece of pants. And you pick up this parchment, and then you go return. And it puts you at the top of Hawkey Manor.
Then you get to unlock the sealed ba barrier. While I was doing for real, my whole team was really bitching at me. Because they're like, you pulled too many mobs when I pulled like five. And then they were like, you're killing them and we don't want you to and blah blah blah. And yeah, this is the lady that's so-called very ugly. I think she renewed her prettiness by becoming a vampire, I'm guessing. Or a demon. Whichever you prefer. Okay, we can kill her quite quickly. Yeah, these are just... This is like a mechanic. You're supposed to be like disabling these void maps, void lamps as you're doing the thing. By the way, I switched on to the Twitch so that now they will save my broadcast at least for 14 days. So the next time if I lose footage like this, I can just, I don't know, repeat it by downloading it off Twitch. We did it on the wrong character. Yeah. Now I'm gonna switch characters and see which cutscenes we can salvage. Eh? On the upside, I spent 45 minutes getting to level 30 because Minfilia was all like, "You need to be level 30 to do this next quest." Okay, so this is the cutscene that we get right after that killing the lady that we just killed. Darkness has taken root within these halls, sprung from the most unlikely of seeds. One cannot help but admire the irrepressible spirit that quickened it to life. It is a pleasure to meet you at last adventure. You're every bit as intriguing as our master gave us to believe. It is no ordinary mortal who can acquire one crystal of light, much less three. The crystals make you strong, and it is to that strength that light is drawn. Hydaelyn chose well. A pity that your existence is irreconcilable with our own. We cannot well allow you to continue upon your present course. Alas, we came here not to play, but to take the measure of your strengths for Master Lahabrea. The task now accomplished, we take our leave of you. Fare you well, bringer of light. Okay, so now we did all of that. We went to Mendphilia. We talked to that guy and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry that my master was killing people and I feel guilty that, you know, I haven't told anybody, blah, 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 blah. But then we went to Minfilia and she was like, it's concerning that si Asians are like following you and stuff like that. And it's really concerning. And then she's all like, we have news about another primal, come back to me when you're level 30. This is where I spend 45 minutes uh, grinding, <laughs> doing my hunting log. It literally took me 45 minutes to get to level 30 from level 29. And now we come back to Midphilia to take the next quest. The Maelstrom requests our assistance. Concerning the kobolds they sent such copious notes on, I presume? Yes. And no, it has more to do with their findings, which portend a peril far greater than any beast tribe. What sort of peril? The worst kind. A tribe of kobolds in the vicinity of Limsa Lominsa has reawakened Titan. Our task will be to slay the primal. The Maelstrom have sworn support for the endeavor. 
They are no strangers to the havoc kobolds can wreak. Years before the Grand Company's reformation, two primes, Leviathan and Titan, chanced to converge upon the sea wall, wreaking untold devastation. There, by the grace of the Navigator, were the mercenaries Melvip hired able to fend them off. Yet it did not take long for the beast tribes to regroup, and they summoned their primals once more. Thankfully, their second coming was decidedly short-lived, but that is beside the point. So long as tormented souls will them to exist, the realm will never be rid of primals. The Maelstrom has kept a watchful eye upon the beast tribes, and the kobolds in particular, ever since. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Unlike Ifrit, we know scarcely anything of Titan. Unfortunately, the only force known to have bested him, the modestly named Company of Heroes, disbanded five years since, and mercenaries are not in the habit of keeping chronicles. Expect the worst. The Maelstrom's help is of course appreciated, but even if we had their whole armada at our disposal, we could still find ourselves overmatched. A pity the Kobolds lack the gentle sensibilities of the Sylphs. A peaceful resolution would be more than welcome. I have to point out in here that Kobolds were on the agreement of not summoning Titan with Limsa and they were able to come to this agreement, which is very important to note. And Limsalumincents were encroaching into their territory, attacking them, making them scared. And so why they started preparation to summon the Titan again, because they're threatened. They're threatened by Limsalumincents. And after this, you go and speak to Limsalumincents' main captain. And she's like, yes, it is our fault, but what do you have us do? Do you have us die? To Titan? And you're like, fair enough, I'll help you. I hope you get rid of Titan, even though me and myself, I would have you die to Titan. I would stand in the middle of your city and not budge until Titan would get to your city and I would defend your civilians. Not your sorry ass, because you did bring this upon yourself. The Echo will not avail you this time, I fear. If you are to survive, your steel must needs speak for you. No one would think you a coward were you to decline. So you will accept? Thank you. I suppose this is where your character is supposed to emote, but we're a bucket head, so she has absolutely no indication whether or not we accept. She just assumes that we do. We can't very well send her to Limsa Lominsa without Yastola. Can we, Minfilia? May I ask that of you, Yastola? I never thought it in question. Ever reliable. Very well. We will spare no effort to win victory. You may count on the full support of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And all not a field will aid the fight from afar. Yes. Thancred, Ida, go to the Grand Companies. Tell them of our plight and solicit their support. Tell them of our plight of fighting the Titan without actually giving me the support to fight the titan just go and tell other people that warrior flight will fight the titan Ariadne, and get me support from other people and alfino if you would papalimo compile all the information we have on titan little though it may be you will be apprised of the tactical situation when you reach the sailor's ward Provision yourself for the journey. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Okay, so you saw all the cutscenes there. We go to Limsa Lominsa and we talk with the captains and they're like, there's one person from this company of heroes living in here. They were like... Th they live in this area, but they're a miller now. Go and talk to them. You go and talk to them and they go, oh, kill me some rats and kill me some gaboos or else I will not tell you the secret to killing Titan. Uh, his boss comes along and gives out this little secret that 
he was not part of the company of heroes at all and just wanted you to do his job for him and you did it because you're stupid or something. So he goes, oh, I'm so 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 sorry, there's this person in Costello Soul, he works there as a captain, he's the one from Company of Heroes, and that's where I've heard it from. And you go there, and he goes, I am not convinced that you can take on Captain Titan, I think that you'll die. So I'm not gonna tell you how to kill Titan until you run errands for me. Go and kill this random toad. You go and kill this random toad, he goes, Okay, you killed this random toad. That's good. Well, you see, my boss is organizing a feast and he wants a very special... Uh, special supplies that you cannot normally get. Go and talk to my friend, Landonel here, who is also from Company of Heroes. And he hides the fact that he came from Company of Heroes because apparently they were not the most nicest adventurers. They went and... Uh, had their fun with ladies and they drank a lot then it's not something that you want to admit to You go there and he goes you have to secure a tortoise egg, but it's illegal to poach From tortoises it's illegal to take their eggs so you have to do and Sprinkle these things near brownie bushes in order to uh, attract flies I think and if you attract flies, then the patrol that's like keeping track of the turtles will be made to go there and get rid of those flies. Which would be like over here. And then you would have the free reign to just go in and kill a couple of turtles and take their eggs. So this is how far with the main story we got. There was like an hour worth of grinding in there. Now with my personal... Uh, fighting story, the class job quests. I went and killed Kuryaja, and it was as unimpressive as you can think. I killed a big cow, and everybody was super happy because they were like, Oh my god, you actually did this thing! We can't believe you did it! And I'm like, It's just a big cow! There's a lot of dumb big cows, they're everywhere. And then they go, Go to this place in Castel Soul. And there's this dude, we don't know anything else about maraudering, but he got hired, he's a very good marauder. We think he might have been in Company of Heroes at one point. Go and learn from him. So you go there and chores under attack by turtles. You kill the turtles and... Hello bird. You kill the turtles and he goes... I see potential in you. Do you want to become a warrior with me? Do you want to go to under this waterfall and become the warrior? Because he's from this ancient village and their population is shrinking so they're passing down the ancient art of a warrior to people from the outside. But when he left, he didn't tell us why he left, but when he left, he did not complete his training. So he's kind of learning it with you. But he passes on you this job stone, just warrior job stone, saw of the warrior, and it's imbued with thousands and thousands of warriors' memories, so that when you're in the thrill of the battle, it gives you more energy. It supports you. So that's about it. So the next quest you can pick up from that man in Costa La Soul is at level 35. And when we come back, we're gonna be going and hunting a tortoise egg in hopes that we can return to the captain of the company of heroes with the tortoise egg and he will be like yay we can organize this feast now and here's how you kill titan and then we hope that we can go and kill titan because we're really doing a bunch of fetch quests in order to get the information of how to best kill titan that's all it is about so thank you for watching i hope that you'll join me next time and from now on the archive function on twitch is turned on so that if my cats destroy my video again, I can just download it from Twitch. <laughs>